Hello powerful galactic beings, welcome back to another video. Being alone on your spiritual journey opens up your intuition and spiritual gifts. You are more likely to hear your own intuition when you are alone, and not distracted by anything outside of you. Spirituality can be developed at any time, but I've found that aloneness almost calls us to ask for something more. That's where your spiritual gifts really open up. Being alone really connects you to your spirit helpers and creates a trust in your own intuition and gifts. Being alone on your spiritual journey teaches you self-love and self-confidence. When you are alone, you basically have to give love to yourself because you don't have someone else to do it for you. This is the same as the confidence piece. You don't have someone building you up and rooting you on, so you have to build that within yourself. This is powerful because when you can give those things to yourself, then you don't need the outside world to validate you and tell you that you are lovable, you know you are. You've had to work on building up those things for yourself and you won't be dependent on anyone else giving them to you. The problem with having to depend solely on love and confidence from someone else is that they may not be around forever to give that to you. Or they may not always be that person for you because they are working on themselves. Basically, they aren't a steady source. But, you are a steady source because you are with yourself forever. So, if you can give yourself those things then you will always have them. Being alone on your spiritual journey might be necessary to get you to where you need to go. You are here for a reason and being alone might be necessary to get you to that place. It might be because in order to get you to where you need to go, you need to be alone. There can be many reasons for this. One might just be that you won't be as motivated to get there if you are with someone. Another might be because being alone will align you with your true soul's purpose. Whatever, the reason you may need to be alone temporarily to get you to where you as a soul chose to go before you incarnated. Your soul wants to fulfill its purpose and it knows the best way to get you there and who is best to come along for the ride. Being alone on your spiritual journey allows you to drop attachment to people and things. We are born into this world with nothing but our bodies and soul and we leave with nothing but our soul. So, part of our journey is to not get too attached to material things, people, and things that we can't let go of. We will have to let go of them at some point as this earth life is only a small journey in our experience as a soul. Being alone makes this easier, to learn how to drop attachments to things and people in particular. Some people will enter your life and stay forever. Others will only stay for the time that they are needed. Whether that is to teach you something or simply because they are currently on the same vibration as you. So, it is part of life to change relationships with people, co-workers, friends, partners, and so on. Being able to drop attachments to those people is necessary to move on with life. Once you do, new people will enter to replace them. But you need to make room for the new people. So, if you are holding on to the past then the new people won't be able to enter until you let go. There simply isn't room. Also, it won't feel good to you or the other person to stay stuck in the past. So, we need to learn how to let go. Being alone on your spiritual journey may be a blessing in disguise. Love blessings in disguise because they really build your trust in the universe. If you are able to trust that everything is happening for your highest good and that you may not know the full picture, yet, then there is never anything to worry about. Trusting that most things really are blessings in disguise is super powerful. It calms your mind and allows you to see the gift in the situation. There's always a gift even though it may not seem like it at the time. Perhaps being alone is a blessing in disguise for you. Maybe you need to be alone for this time in order to get you to where you need to go. Or maybe if you were with someone right now, they wouldn't be your ideal partner because you have some work to do on yourself first. The work you do on yourself before you meet someone prepares you for having the best relationship with your ideal partner. What you vibrate, you attract. So, if you can see the blessing as something that is preparing you to meet your partner and have an amazing relationship, then that is truly where the gift is. I hope this video was really helpful to you, see you in the next video. Peace, love and life.